Hello folks, today I wanted to show you what's inside a traffic light without destroying it. Uh, this is a question I get asked a lot by literally everyone. Everybody that's ever seen my traffic signal collection wants to see what's inside, and I don't blame them. So I won't take up too much of your time and uh, just tell you what is going on here. This is a traffic control technologies, or also known as TCT traffic signal. Uh, that's just the manufacturer. They are actually no longer in business. Um, I'm sure someone will chime in and tell me who makes this signal body now, um, but I'm honestly not sure at this time. Uh, this is a polycarbonate traffic signal. It's made of plastic. Uh, the visors on this are metal, and for good reason, because the polycarbonate visors actually are very prone to shattering. Uh, they're not made very well, and they're not made to stand up to the elements very long. Um, so, but as you can imagine, this signal doesn't weigh very much. It's, it weighs next to nothing. Uh, so, but I'll show you the back side just to get an idea. Uh, a lot of the newer signals use this design. Uh, see it a lot around in uh, Tennessee. So, uh, without further ado, I'll just open the red section and just kind of give you an idea of what's in there. So there's two thumb screws right here. Basically, you just turn these, loosen them a little bit, and then they will slide over. And you can just stick them back. Uh, you will do the same to the top one, slide it back. And then this actually is a door. Uh, it's a very cool design, so you can just open the door. You get access to the reflector, the light bulb, and the lens. Now the lens is also made of plastic or polycarbonate. Um, they also make these in glass. Uh, they also make metal signals, uh, which will stand up a lot better to weather and, uh, and you know, of course, any kind of impact. So uh, the, the bulb that this one uses is just a 67 watt traffic signal bulb. Uh, they make a bulb specifically for these uh, because of the fact that they're on literally all the time. Uh, they also have a 135 watt variant of this also. Uh, normally this would have a 135 watt bulb in it, but I've taken them down to 67 watts since it's just for show purposes. Uh, now this reflector is actually made of aluminum uh, and it's a special kind of aluminum that's actually treated to be reflective. Uh, now this part is plastic just for it being lightweight. And then behind it, that's it. That's really all that's inside. Uh, you get access to uh, say if you have a terminal block in here or some wiring, you'll get access to that. Of course, you've got just the bulb socket. Now, in the yellow section, uh, there's a little more. And usually, that's where they'll put the wiring and the terminal block. So let me close this back up, and we'll open the yellow section, and you'll get to see some of the wiring. Now I know one thing you're probably asking right now, I'm sure I'll see this in the comments, how's that thing running without a controller? Well, I'm about to show you. Uh, when I, once I open this door, uh, you'll see same thing as above, except it's just a yellow lens. Uh, I'll pull this reflector back, and now you see this board right here. That's actually a traffic light control board. Uh, these are not actually what controls them on the road, but I've got this uh, from eBay. You can get these for about $40 uh, upwards from there. And uh, this will actually run the traffic signal with just a uh, 120 volt source. And uh, you can run it at home and not have to have that big fancy controller on the side of the road. Uh, now, another thing you'll notice is the terminal block here. This is where all the wiring terminates to, uh, to uh, connect each traffic signal together. Now they will, uh, daisy chain these to go to other signals to say, you know, I got an intersection with three or four lights. Uh, they will daisy chain them together and that's how they all run in sequence. Uh, so I won't waste your time with the green section because it's literally exactly the same, but that's about what's in a traffic light. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what's inside without destroying it. Uh, I am aware of another video that's on YouTube and uh, believe me, I'm not bashing it. I think it's awesome. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description so that you can watch their video also. Uh, it's by another channel called What's Inside. Um, like I said, I'm not bashing them at all. I love their channel, but uh, I collect these and uh, I've collected these for, oh God, mm, since the 90s at least. So probably about 20 years now. Uh, I've had well over 100 of these at some point. And uh, yeah, it's a cool hobby. 
I, I enjoy it. It does take up a lot of space though. Well guys, that's what's inside a traffic light. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos to come. Uh, I like to post awesome content that you don't really get to see anywhere else. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you'll know every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys and have a good one.